This is a low fidelity prototype for the frunk. So what we do is we use some cheap and easy materials like cardboard and hot glue to create a product that we can bring to customers quickly. The whole goal of it is to demonstrate an experience that somebody doesn't have today and attempt to make something. And in this case, we don't have an engine anymore. So we have a huge opportunity to add a nice space in. So what's great about this is when we brought this to customers, they told us both work stories and play stories. We've heard stories from things like golf clubs to power tools. Some guys even talked about using it for fish. So it is quite the range of product. So the most useful insights we got is that this was a new space. Truck owners did not have this before. The fact that you can put two full-size golf clubs in here and being able to put all your stuff in here when you have a full crew inside the cab takes the whole vehicle to another level. The Mega Power Frunk has lots of highlights. We've got the 400 liter of volume, the 400 pounds of payload. You've got four outlets, two USBs, all kinds of different devices are gonna be plugged into there. iPhones, saws, you name it, we're gonna be able to support it with that power outlet. There's a drain plug for a cooler if you wanna put some uh, ice and water in there, no issue. One of the main features for our accessibility is the waterfall on the hood. If we would have eliminated that and it would have been a traditional hood like a current F-150, nobody would have been able to reach the bottom. You know, if you're a smaller size, it would have been a no-go. So we were able to collaborate really closely with design and engineering because we were using low fidelity prototypes to identify the decisions that had to be made. And we were able to quickly iterate and get those into the field in front of customers. We talk to customers using low fidelity prototypes all the time now, and you should start to see that impact in a lot of our future products.